I've, I've come to have a different reason for this being my favorite soccer game. I have read in many places of people laying down their life in service to God. But I never thought I had witnessed it until I had reflected back and realized that that good sister stood there and did the thing that literally scared her to death in the service of God because she was doing her duty, asked to do that. She gave her life to give that talk. And I witnessed someone literally lay down their life in service to God. I've never seen that since. I never saw it before. Some of you may have seen it, may have been blessed to see it, but I will tell you it is something to realize that I have witnessed that. And I can't think of any better way to go because it wouldn't matter what else you did in your life. That's straight into Jesus' arms, man. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, if that happens to me, <laughs> it's like nothing else counts. I'm, uh, you know, Jesus, you better be taking me into your arms. That's it. I'm a big man. You know? I did that in my life. And, and I witnessed that. And, and I've read about it and for years thought about it and thought about these martyrs. And, and here's this, in my war, in my childhood, early on, in my impressionable youth, I literally saw someone die, laying down their life willfully in the service of God. Our God is a God worthy of our veneration. He's worthy of that sacrifice, worthy of that, that service, because he's not Jehovah, and he's not Jesus Christ. He's the great I Am. He is both. He is both ends of that. He is all things. He is all greatness and all goodness. We have a God worth honoring that responds to all of these philosophers who are trying to find happiness, but they're on the wrong road because they've missed something. They're trying to solve their problems through political solutions, with secular knowledge. You need that knowledge because you're going out to the world. And you have to deal with people who think like this and try to solve problems like this. But you need to know that there is a greater truth and there is a greater way to find happiness in your life. And I want to tell you that unlike Sisyphus who fears death, if you will love your death, if you will embrace your death as part of your life, by which I mean if you will live your religion like you truly believe it and not fear death, but embrace it, because you embrace the afterlife and you embrace Christ and you embrace your part in the whole story, your life will be a life worth living. Your life will be a life that will be the envy of gods and men everywhere. You will be a force to be reckoned with. You will take from this university knowledge and power that no one can buy anywhere on earth. You will be magnificent young men and women, and you will be earth shakers. I testify of that. I testify of that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 That's the chorus. Standing ovation, not bad.